tell me what happened here today. Oh, the fire just started behind that truck factory over there, and then just spread into the bush. And um, how did the fireys go today? Yeah, they went good. They came in pretty quickly and got their hoses set up and then went away with it. Tell me what happened here today. Uh, I, got, I was out at work and I got a phone call from the, um, the bush fireys telling me that a fire had started down the road and was heading for my property. And when you got here, what did you see? Uh, fire everywhere and thank God, thank goodness for the fireys are in there and had the fire going and uh, fire trucks putting it out. It had come right up into the property and was coming onto the house. And um, tell me what sort of, um, what was the flames like and the smoke and the wind? What was described? Oh, it, it was like an inferno coming through really quick, really high, really hot, uh, lots of smoke, um, hard to breathe. And you went out there fighting the fire with hoses, buckets of water? Buckets of water, uh, hoses, whatever we could get our hands onto. And how were the fires out there helping you guys? Yeah, excellent. Excellent. And yeah. um, your wife was here helping you? and Yeah, my wife was here helping. Yep. Uh, she was on site first, so she got rid of the, um, the pets and let out the animals and evacuated the house and um, the police helped her get out. And so was there any damage to your property? Anything burnt or, or um, damaged with the, with the fire? Only the, only the bushland fences and um, yeah, nothing really of importance. The houses and sheds are all saved. Hey mate, do you live around here? Yeah, just over here. I'm just a bit worried about the house. All yep. The fire coming up to the woods, the uh, the back fence. So uh, just watching what happens. I think the boys uh, got pretty good control of it at the moment. And how how fast did it hit? Very fast. I was uh, I was in there having a cup of coffee. Saw a bit of smoke. I thought, oh, that's in the distance. But um, five minutes later, it was already flames. Already flames in the backyard here. And where's your house? Just here, where the white fence is. So how yeah. sort of didn't really reach your house? No, there? but it uh, depends. If the wind normally comes up from the south, it could have very, very easily hit our house, all these houses along there, all along the tree line. But with the the, the way the wind was blowing, absolutely, uh, it, it pretty much protected us, yeah. And um, how the it's fire is going? Fantastic, absolutely fantastic. We are worried about there, and in an instant there was uh, three trucks looking after it, so uh, fantastic. Got a phone call to say the end of our street on fire. And what did you see when you got here? Just smoke, smoke, and flames. Did you ever expect this to be on fire? No, oh, we had hunches because obviously it's, it is classed as a bushfire zone, so we did have a hunch it may go up one day. Didn't think it would be so quick. But... Barry Bowen from here. Barry, Barry! And I looked and there was a cloud of smoke coming over from like around my house. And then I walked down the road and said there's been a fire in the industrial area. And I looked and walked into my front yard and there, the whole behind me was filled with smoke and it was on fire. It was a bit scary. And how fast was it going and how strong was the wind? The wind was pretty strong. I was pretty scared that it was going to burn the houses down actually. Um, and it was moving pretty fast but they look like they've got it under control now. 